Hello, fair year, how are you today? I hope you are happy and fine. Well, today is Monday, the 22nd of June, and today we have the global exam, and as the homework, you have to read The Turn of the Screw, chapter 5 and 6. Te doy dos capítulos, mande la short story para que me leas de tarea, ¿ok? Hoy me tenías que entregar el brainstorming um, uh, desde los chapters 1 hasta el 4 to 4 and uh, el video explicando la short story from chapter 1 to 4, ok? Esos dos trabajos, el brainstorming from chapter 1 and 4 and the video where you explain the story from chapter chapters 1 and 4 are grades, van a ser grades for eh, notas para literatura complementaria de la libreta de calificaciones. So, uh, be responsible, please. Ok, ya me habrán entregado. A estas alturas ya se están mirando el video, ya entregaste todo. Yes, por el horario. Ok. Well, so, um, voy a dar tips de lo que necesito que hagan. ¿Qué va a pasar acá? Uh, today is the global exam. The day has arrived. It is a very nice day. I want you to concentrate. Vas a tener una hora, una hora treinta para resolver el examen. Quiet, please. Important work in process. Vas a pegar esto en la puerta de tu habitación, en tu living, donde sea. Vas a, lugar, vas a buscar un lugar específico donde te vas a sentar a hacer el examen. One hour and a half. Llévate, ¿qué cosa? Un glass of water, un glass of juice, algo que te vas a llevar. Anda al toilet before the test. Hace de cuenta que estás haciendo ese test acá. ¿Yes? Uh, imagine you are in the class, imagine the teacher is there, you have one hour and a half, pay attention. Es el primer test que se hace fuera de la institución, va a ser online, se dieron las cosas así, chicos, ¿ok? Entonces voy a apelar a que vos seas honesto, que seas sincero con vos mismo y con la teacher, no uses diccionarios, no uses libros, activity books, uh, dispositivos, cell phones, lo que sea. Hoy voy a estar yo en tu conciencia. Is it clear? Yes? Okay? Well, so I want you to pay attention. Yes? Uh, check everything before handing in. Yes? Y te sientes a hacerlo en una hora y media. Acordate, no te podés estar levantando a hacer 20 minutos un día, mañana me hago otro poco. No. Yo voy a poner, eh, voy a poner el, al otro día fecha de entrega. ¿Por qué? Porque puede haber un montón de cosas que me puedo imaginar, que la conectividad justo ese día no anduvo, para que no trabajes bajo presión. Pero lo que yo voy a apelar es que vos hagas en una hora 30. Recordad que te estás entrenando. No pierdas de vista que esto es un entrenamiento. No te olvides que esto es un entrenamiento para el examen final. Y es muy importante porque necesito que hagas sin ayuda. ¿Por qué? Porque de acá voy a sacar... ¿Qué cosas tengo que pulir en mis alumnos? ¿Se entiende lo que quiero decir? Así que necesito que seas honesto. Igual, igualmente desde que comenzamos la clase yo necesito la honestidad de ustedes. Necesito que vean, que no se engañen, que no los engañen a los papás que están viendo las clases y no están viendo. Porque después, cuando nos, cuando nos encontremos y al final del año, si Dios quiere que yo tome el examen final, se va a notar ahí. Si estuvieron mintiendo, sean ustedes mismos, a los padres, a la teacher, yes, ok, is it clear, good, que te entre en la conciencia eso, por favor, ok, well, as you know, we are going to start, quedó claro lo que doy de tarea, chapters 5 and 6 from the short story, ok, good, we are going to start, yes, with the composition, siempre empezamos con la composición, ok, is it clear, Yes, 20 minutes for the composition. Okay. You have the writing paper there. Okay, is it clear? So, I want you to um, write an email. An email. Te lo voy a poner con rojo. An email of complaint to the customer care office to complain about the cell phone you bought last night, last week, okay? So you have to write an email of complaint to the customer service care office uh, to complain about the cell phone you bought last week. 
Explain. Read the consignas, please. Read everything. Yes? Explain. What happened? The reason for writing. Say what you want as a converse compensation. Remember, we found. Es que te devuelvan el dinero, eh? Suggest what the company should do to improve the service. I think you should change. I think you should. I think the shipping should be less. Okay? Anything. Good? Must work and structures must be underlined. Y voy a poner todo esto en rojo porque no te podés olvidar las más words. Okay? Más words must be underlined. Unfortunately, should, but, superlative. Acordate que cuando está should es un verbo modal, el verbo va en infinitivo. Can, should, ok? Is it clear? Good. Remember how to write the email to, from, to, customer service office, from, yes, root, from, um, your direction, at hotmail, yes, ok? to, from, and the subject, complain about a cell phone I bought, yes, okay, is it clear, is it clear, so organize your ideas, okay, te voy a dejar un extra paper más donde ahí vas a hacer la description, el, el email, okay, is it clear, and then you are going to have the listening, listen again and decide what the people are doing, there are two extra sentences that you should, you do not need, okay? Conversation one, two, three, four and five, yes. Acuérdate que hay dos que no necesitas, hay dos de más, okay? Is it clear? Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So this is the listening. I'm going to explain the first part. All right. Number one, match the headings from one to seven to holiday description from A to E. There are two extra headings you do not need, okay? So pay attention, yes, they put one red, pay attention. Exercise, name, a student's name and teacher's name in all the pages, okay? You have there, B, complete the following sentences using vocabulary studied and the first letter is given to you as an example, okay? Exercise, student's name and teacher's name, again, complete the following sentences using grammar studied this year. Okay, all the grammar studied this year. Read, identify, and then complete. Make questions. Present simple. Yes. Going to future and past continuous. W, auxiliar, subject, verb, and everything. Concentrate when you make the questions, please. Then choose the correct alternative. Remember to choose the correct alternative and write, yes, the answer. And this is an example, yes? I mean, yes, maybe it's not okay. Good. So let's go complete the following paragraph using the most suitable verb tense, okay? So you have verb tenses, can be present, future, yes, you read the text and identify what tense you, meet, you need. Then complete the following sentences using the most suitable word. Make any necessary changes, yes, Picasso was such a good paint. You have the word paint. What do you need here? Yes, okay, a noun, a verb, an adjective, yes, an adverb, and then well, the writing. And then we're going to go to the listening. Are you ready? So I wish you good luck, yes, concentrate, hacer caso a todos los tips que te di, be honest, yes, with you, with the teacher. There we are, ready, 
You have to listen, yes? Okay? Listen. Put the pen down, please. Put the pen down. You have to listen. Remember, you can't, you will, yeah, I will play it, but at home you can listen twice. Okay? Twice. Run. Oh, can we stop a minute? I'm exhausted. Oh, I can't believe you're not tired. You're tired because you don't follow the right diet. I feel okay because I am on the Paleolithic diet. When people first appeared on Earth, they ate fresh fish, animals that they hunted themselves, and plants that grew wild. That's the diet that is natural to humans. We've changed our lives, but our bodies haven't changed so quickly. So the food we eat today isn't good for us. I don't eat anything tinned or packaged or frozen. I don't kill animals, but I know a butcher who sells wild animal meat. I chose my diet because I believe it is the healthiest and most natural way to eat. Now come on, let's race to those trees and back. Two. Hello, Carrie. Where are you going? To the doctors. I don't feel very well. I always feel full and sometimes get pains in the stomach. I try to eat well, but it doesn't seem to make any difference. Have you heard of Horace Fletcher? No. I follow his ideas for eating and they really made me feel better. You should try it too. Basically, all you have to do is to chew each mouthful of food 32 times. You don't have to change your diet or anything. The chewing helps the body to digest the food. Why don't you try it? I'm sure you'll notice the difference. Okay, I will. Thanks. 32 times, you said. That's right. Oh, here's my bus. All the best. Three. You're late. Did you have to stay behind again? <sighs> yes. The teacher caught me sending a text. Oh dear. It's not fair. Dan never seems to get in any trouble. <laughs> what did he do today? He fell asleep in English. <sighs> the teacher asked him why. And my dear twin brother told him he was on the Sleeping Beauty diet. What's that? He said it was a diet which says that because you can't eat when you're asleep, you should sleep as much as possible. But you can't eat in English classes anyway. I know, but the teacher didn't think of that. It's so unfair. I had to stay behind because I sent one text during the lesson and nothing happened to Dan at all. I'm sure Dan's not even on a diet. I'm sure he lied to the teacher. Now I've got to walk home because I missed the bus and he'll be there watching TV. Four. Can I have extra chips with my pizza, please? <laughs> wow, aren't you worried about putting on weight? No, I've heard of a really great diet. It guarantees you can lose two or three kilos every week. And you can eat exactly what you want. Impossible. How does it work? Well, you take this tablet and it breaks down what you eat. You take the tablet once a day for as long as you want. Oh, I've read about this. You know it's illegal in a lot of countries, don't you? It's very dangerous. The tablet takes vitamins and other important nutrients from your body and leaves you weak. Oh. It's not that bad. Listen, Jackie, if you use these tablets, you will get very ill and you'll regret it. Five. Right, let's get this done quickly. We need some pasta. Get that curly pasta that you like. Mom. And a packet of flour while you're there. Mom, listen, what is it? I've read about this new diet, fruitarianism. I've decided to follow it. It means I can't eat meat, vegetables, or things like bread or pasta, which are made from wheat. I can only eat fruit, nuts, and seeds. That doesn't sound very healthy. Well, I'd like to try. Please can you buy those things that I can eat and try making fruitarian meals for me? 
Just for a few days, so that I can see how I feel. I'm not sure. I think you... And Mum, please, just this time, don't criticise my idea. Let me find out for myself, OK? Well, uh, that was all. I hope you... Uh, I, I wish you good luck. Yes, OK? Concentrate and check everything. You have what I would have, remember? You have 20, 25 ma minimum, maximum, 25 minutes maximum for the writing. 20 minutes to do it, 5 minutes to check, and then continue with the reading paper and with the grammar paper, okay? Uh, good luck. See you next class. Bye-bye.